the hell happened to Max? What's Sam doing here? What is going on? It's the apocalypse. There's no cell phones, no internet, no adults. Oh, man. The internet's not working again. Yeah, we'll deal with it. I'm late. What's everyone doing here? I don't know. Maybe they thought they'd be safe here. Hey, there are a lot of scared people outside. I think you should let them in. I can't have kids running around loose in here. If they're frightened, well, they should go home. What is going on? Where's mom? I don't know. I'm so scared. Hey, I know. But it's gonna be okay. We, we need to be strong. Okay, Professor. I warned you about what was going to happen, Ryder. You could have prevented this. I was only following orders. For what? For king and country? There's not going to be any king or country left. Not now. What is that? You tell me. Diverting altitude 360, encountering heavy turbulence, bearing 340 range, 10 nautical miles in transit. What have we done? Come with me. No way. I got your brother. Relax, he's fine. You guys okay? We're okay. Lucas saved us from the wave. Isn't that the guy that set fire to his last school? Hey, don't believe everything you hear. It was only the canteen. Food that bad, huh? <laughs> hey, what are you afraid of? The wave? No, not the wave. All pretty tired and hungry. Do you have anything to eat around here? Yeah, there's some warm beers out back. Just help yourselves. Funny. I saw there was like a store across the street. I wouldn't go out there. I can handle myself. I saw what happened to the adults. I was working in here with my old man when that way thing hit for the first time. He vanished into thin air. But there was something else. See, when that wave took the adults, 
At least something in their place. What? I don't know. But you can hear them creeping around outside at night. Just scratching away, just trying to find a way to get inside. I wouldn't go out there. She always liked that. Pretty much. I need some milk. You're not afraid of me, are you? Why? Should I be? Why, well, everyone at school is. Everyone at our school are idiots. Besides, your whole bad boy image is just an act. Oh, is it? Yeah, no one who gets straight A's in English lit can be all that badass. Okay then, so what about you? What's behind your Ice Queen exterior? You don't want to know? It's just interesting though. What? You know my grades. What was that? Let's get out of here. Was that what I thought it was? A military aircraft. It was heading towards the airbase. Like Dad? Well, I don't know, but whoever's on that plane probably knows what's happened. Let's go. Not tonight. Why wait? Let's go now. No, we got to rest tonight. Get out in the morning. Yeah. There's food in it. Hey, Lucas is right. There is something out there. I saw one of them. One of what? I don't know, but it wasn't human. We've got to keep watch tonight. Just when I thought I couldn't get any more freaked out. Here you go. I don't think it's such a good idea going after that plane. Why? How do you know the people on board aren't behind what's happened here and come back to finish what they started? Well, I wasn't planning on marching straight up to them. Come on. Are you coming? No, I'm sorry, this whole modern family vibe you got going on here just isn't my scene. Fair enough. Check out that plane. You guys stay here, I'll be back before dark. What? I'm coming with you. Yeah, me too. And me. No, you can hardly walk and you're still too weak. And you should sort this place out. You know, we need supplies, food, water, batteries. Can you lock this place down for me before I get back? I can do that. He's pretty freaked out right now. Do you think you could look after him till I get back? Yeah. He likes building blanket forts.
Why are you following me? I wasn't following you. I just got curious about the plane. Just don't get in my way. What are you up to, man? I'm going on a supply run. Rose told you not to leave the house. She also told me to lock this place down. There's things I need to get. What kind of stuff? Oh, well, you know, the basics, batteries, flashlight, water purification tablets, and some antifungal cream, and also I need... Wait. Antifungal cream? It's personal. You know what? I think I know where we can get everything you need. Thought you weren't following me. I'm not following you. We're just walking in the same direction. We'll find a different set of stairs or something. <sighs> this isn't an act for you, is it? I mean, I play at the tough guy image at school, so people leave me alone, but you, oh, you're just a pain in the ass. School isn't a popularity contest. It's about working hard and passing your exams until real life begins. Well, what if your real life has already begun and you're missing it? Thanks for the advice, Yoda. I'm just saying. father was on this aircraft. Your father? Then why would he be on military transport? Because he's a scientist. He works down on the ice. Antarctica? Yeah, the army used to fly him down there all the time. And what makes you think he was on this particular plane? Because this is his. Prometheus had the potential to solve the world's energy problems. But we've overreached ourselves. If we continue down this path, it's possible we could tear the fabric of reality itself. And we've already had a glimpse of the horrors waiting for us on the other side. What was that? Hey, let's go. Hello, Rose. Fancy bumping into you here. Hello? Hello? Looks like it's dog free. Old man Peterson was a survivalist nut. My dad said he had supplies stashed away for any possibility. <laughs> Come on. Bingo. I could do it with a hand, man. Rose will go ballistic when she finds out we've broken into Mr. Peterson's house. Yeah, well, let's not tell her then. You mean lie? No, technically that's not lying, okay? Plausible deniability. What? It's when the CIA withholds information from government officials in order to protect them from any illegal activities. You're a weird little kid. Has anyone ever told you that? Yeah, all the time. What was that? What? Shh. Listen. Nothing. There it was again. What was that? What? Shh. Listen. Nothing. There it was again.
What was that? I have no idea, but I think Rose saw one just like it the other night. What did Rose see? It's over, Donnie. What's over? Well, we're not alone. Somehow the adults have returned. Where are they then? Well, who flew that plane here then? Autopilot? I don't know. Look, I just know that I prefer the way things are without the adults. Oh, that's crazy. Now I'm with you, man. Yeah, I think there's a misunderstanding. I don't even know her. You don't? No, I literally just met her. OK, well, here's the thing. I don't actually care. Looks like it's going to be a beautiful evening. I think it's about time we found some shelter. You told me you were going to look after me no matter what happened. What? You told me you loved me. Oh, and you actually believed me. That's sick. You think a guy like me is going to get with a girl like you? <laughs> little Miss Ice Queen. See, I just want a little action before the world ended. Trust me, she wasn't worth it. I like this guy. On time. Is this gonna happen every night? No, okay, don't worry, everything's gonna be okay. No, it's not. Everything is never gonna be okay ever again. If the wave doesn't get us, that thing across the road will. <sighs> There's nothing we can do about it. You're such a quitter. I'm being realistic. Shh, you're gonna wake Sam up. We're never gonna get through it if you two keep squabbling like this. We're never gonna get through it, period. Ow! Oh, that thing! It's here! Your puffer, where's your puffer? Stay here, both of you. Tom, get back here! Good boy, buddy. Lucas?
Supporting local content so you can see more of New Zealand on air.